Hi guys, I'm Sue and I'm back with another makeup video. During my five years of doing makeup on my clients, the most asked question that I receive is how to achieve flawless looking skin but still look like skin. My clients always complain about their base breaking, slipping, never seem to have enough coverage when they do the makeup on themselves. Especially when they've done everything that they are taught on the internet. I used to do some of those things also, but as my skill grew, I realized that not every technique worked for me. So today I'm here to save you. Here are 5 things that I stopped doing and they're gonna make your foundation look way much better. And the first thing is skip primer. There are tons of ads going on the internet showing you new and evolutionary products that are 3-in-1, 4-in-1 and basically do everything for you. Stop trusting it. The reason is every skin needs a different primer and no product can satisfy all the needs. For example, the most common all-in-one products that I see everyone using is a cushion. But cushion foundations are often too oily, too slippery for some skin type. Sometimes it doesn't stick to your skin at all. Worse, it can cling onto your fine lines, wrinkles, and sink into your pores. And well, that doesn't gonna look good. Furthermore, a primer can change your skin a lot, even without foundation. Primers can smooth out the surface of your skin and even out your skin tone. If you have large pores, grab a silicone primer. And if you have rosacea, take a cream one. I'll talk about how to choose a specific primer for your skin type in later videos. But just remember, don't skip it. Number two is to cake up foundation. This is a truth that you might not have heard. Not everyone need a full face of foundation. I can swear that 90% of my makeup clients tell me that their skin condition is so bad. Actually, it's not that bad. Some of them even only need spot color correction and the tiniest bit of concealer for their skin to look stunning. To make up, sometimes less is more. Try to apply your foundation as thin layers and work your way through. Never always offer full coverage foundation when you don't really need it because their consistency are thicker, um, they tend to dry it out faster and that means you have to have a decent makeup skill to get the best of it. And because they are thick, they can cling on to dry patches on your skin um, making your bump of acne more visible. As a beginner, choose a semi-matte foundation and add concealer when you need more coverage. It should work just as well. The third thing I want to mention in this video is overdo concealer. You might have seen people on YouTube doing their under eye concealer by placing a triangle concealer here. I used to do the same thing but then I realized that it was too thick and such a waste of product. I know that it looks satisfying but when I do makeup on people especially that people with dry under eyes or wrinkles this make their wrinkles and dry patches more visible and increase the chance of creasing so why do that when you can just use a small amount as you can see here the darkest area of my dark circle is this area and I will place one or two dots of concealer here and here then blend it out with my finger. I will also use one dot of concealer here, bring it upwards to lift my eyes because my eyes are a little bit droopy. And that's it, you don't need more. The fourth thing that you might want to skip is baking. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate baking, but this technique is not for everyone. If you have dry skin, dry under eyes, bumpy skin, texture skin, don't do it. Basically, Baking with a thick layer of powder is gonna absorb all the moisture from your skin, making dry areas even drier. For textured skin, like if you have acne or acne scar, it's gonna enhance that texture and make your imperfections more visible. The only skin type that I think baking might work with is super oily skin. If you really have to bake, always look for a finely milled loose powder. Normally, I don't even use setting powder if my foundation has matte finish. Use a thinnest layer of powder to set the under eyes around the nose and to absorb the excess oil on my face when it did touch ups. And the last but not least one is blighting highlights. Yes, I know blighting highlights are fun, they are such a huge thing on the internet, but 
they might just not be for you. First, blinding highlights look great on photos but can look really fake in real life unless you want to look like a disco ball. And because highlights are basically glitters and shimmers, if you place them on their imperfections, they're gonna catch the other's attention to it. So if you have really problem skin, like um, the areas that you're gonna place highlights on are bumpy, have acne scars, just think about using something that is less shimmering or has more fine glitters. If you still want to make your skin look glossy and glowy without overdoing it, look for a liquid highlighter. Liquid highlighters have a more natural finish and you can easily adjust them to your liking. And that were 5 things that I don't do anymore for my base makeup. I hope these tips are helpful and you guys have learned something from this video. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. If you have any question, just leave it in the comment section below or direct us on our Instagram. I'll be back next Wednesday with a K-pop makeup cover video. Stay tuned and stay healthy. I love you guys. Bye!